you're leaving the home. You're grabbing all the things. You're trying to get those kids out the door. You get to where you need to go and you realize you've forgotten the stuff. You've been trying so hard to live a more sustainable life and you can't seem to figure out how to get your to-go cup with you. Here I am today, I'm gonna go over my go to-go bag. I'll grab it so I can just take it with us and I know that what I have in there is ready. Let's get to it. All right, so my number one thing that helps I think me and my family continue to make sustainable choices when we're outside of the home is my to-go bag. It is a must have for our family. And I am pretty minimalist, so I am only gonna bring in the things that I know are essential. So today we're gonna go over what are things that I always bring, what are the things I sometimes bring, and why, and some different products so that it hopefully can help you. And so that when you're outside of your home, you can make those sustainable choices and more eco-friendly choices. Before we kind of get too much started, uh, I'm not being sponsored. So please click that like and subscribe button so that it can just reach more people and hopefully we can create just a more eco-friendly, sustainable world. So let's talk the bag. Um, it can be any bag, but it needs to be a bag that you know you're going to want to have in public. Maybe if you care about style, if you care about that, then grab a bag that's gonna have, that's gonna make that work for you. It needs to be something that is the size that you need, something compact that you know you're gonna be able to use on a daily basis. It does not have to be a backpack, it can be a purse. They have so many options at Goodwill. Maybe check the Buy Nothing group and say what you're looking for. If you're not picky, um, check eBay. There's all, so many options. You can of course shop your own home. So this is something that we had in our own home. It is a hiking backpack and so it's pretty it can be pretty compact if it wants to be this is the backpack we use the reason i like it is because there's many different kind of compartments pockets but not over it doesn't feel like i have to fill every single one so start with the bag that makes sense to you buy it use so much easier um and try it out a couple times so i'm going to talk about things that i always bring and then kind of go, go into those sometimes things so of course and i'm going to pack as we go just so you can kind of see just what it, where everything lives and stuff. So, um, I'm of course, you got your keys and wallet. Um, I try to keep something just really small and compact. And I always put those in a way that's accessible for me in the front. Uh, next, what I always have is, of course, again, these are basics, nothing sustainable necessarily, but some kind of pen and something for my glasses to clean my glasses. So that's in there as well, just right here in the front where it's accessible. The other thing is I've got my chapstick. Different though, because this is a compostable container. This is something from Forage Fields. So that's in this little compartment up front that's really accessible. In this pocket here, outside pocket, this is where I keep my kids' snacks. I usually have two snacks in here just that's available, ready to go. I always have a to-go set of utensils. To-go wear is the brand. This is the name of the place from in Hawaii. That is the zero waste shop, but to go brand does a couple different options and they work with other company, other organizations. So the, you'll see these everywhere, but the reason I like them is they are bamboo, which means they're lightweight. It doesn't have to be that for a long time before we, this was a gift we used, we just grabbed our own utensils and put it in a bag, just a small bag. And that was it. So in here, I've got a spoof fork and a set of chopsticks and then a st two straws. The reason I have two straws is because I have two kids and you know they're fighting over straws. So there you go. The chopsticks come in handy a ton. That's If I was to go without something, um, my chopsticks would definitely not be it. That is the one thing I have to have because I can use them for all sorts of things. So that is right here compact, ready to go. And it is in that outside pocket with my snacks. The other thing I have is this, which is just in a replacement for a towel. So it's just a rag, same pocket. And I think that's it for that pocket. Finally, in the main pocket here, there's this option. I have this, this is where the bladder would go if I was using it for hiking, but I don't. So I have this um, to go kit. I've got some medication that I have to kind of keep on me. Um, so I have that in here. You'll see in here some actual like plasticky stuff um, and again zero waste is unobtainable you literally cannot be zero waste it is by far especially if you take if you have some kind of medical need so you gotta let go of that 
there is going to be stuff that has that. Um, the thing though is that is this is a reusable con Ziploc, if you will, zip container. Uh, this thing is it's better than Ziploc. I'm not. I'm reusing this over and over again, and it's durable. This is something that I can continue to use for generations. So that goes in here. The last two things are this is a <laughs> this is a old T-shirt that I cut up and is now a tissue. So especially in the winter time when my kids' noses are constantly going, I have that. And my other last always is hand sanitizer. Again, plastic, not ideal, but it's in our household and I'm using what we have first. I'm not gonna go out and buy something if I already have something in my home. This is always in my backpack. This is what sits ready to go with maybe two snacks in here um, so that we can just grab it. And it's pretty compact, it's pretty minimal. With hiking backpacks, they have these buckles so you can kind of keep it close together. But let's keep going. Grab is our water bottle. Um, this one's a glass one that I got from Goodwill. There's nothing crazy about it. Goodwill is a thrift store if you don't have it in your area. So there you go. This sits in this outside pocket here. Key of this is something that seals so I can have it in my backpack as well. So that water bottle is always with us anyway so we just grab our water bottles, stick it in here, and then we're to go. We're out of here. Um, snacks. We have in, if you've seen my videos, you've seen that I have like reusable Ziplocs. This might be the first video that I'm showing my stasher and Ziplocs. And I absolutely love stashers. I am now a diehard. I will definitely never go back to other things. I still have my other things. They're okay, they're great, they have their purposes. But stashers, oh, let me just take a moment. Parents, let's just talk that these are easy to open for kids. I have a three-year-old. She can open this easily and then she can close it very easily. As a parent, in when I'm driving, I can hand this back and I can open it and then I can even close it with one hand. So if they hand it back to me, I can just kind of close it with one hand. It's sealed and I can put it away. Oh, such a game changer. If you don't already know this because it's made of silicone, it is freezer. Again, not being sponsored, please. So Stasher, if you want to sponsor, but I'm not. Um, if these are freezer safe, these are, I can put in the microwave safe. The best part, parents, dishwasher safe. And I've washed these multiple times with no issues. With my others, I can't wash them in the dishwasher because it kind of ruins the seal and I have to hand wash them. So stashers, definitely. They go again in that pocket with my snacks. So I might have one or two, not this size container. If I have more, it would not be this size. It'd be the smaller size. Um, and then the other thing I kind of more or less have depending is some kind of reusable bag. They do make ones that are more compact. This is just one we had around our house. So I'm not going to buy it again, something new if I already have it. So there's a bag and this goes always in like this outside pocket here. Um, this is a small cinch bag and I often take it with me if I know I'm going to go somewhere where I might have smaller items or glass items. So if you've ever gone to, an antique store or if you've gone somewhere and they've given you're buying something in glass or, and then they put it in like a separate bag I mean I, I have them put it in here and then I cinch it up and put it in here this is one I made from scraps all scraps material that I had on hand and I sewed this so there you go I don't have a link to that DIY sorry so that goes in with my reusable bag here are the things that I sometimes grab. It's not an always, but um, I sometimes we sometimes if we know we're gonna go out to eat, we grab a, a container. This is a tiffin that I bought off eBay, and the reason that it's really helpful is it seals, but it also has like three compartments in it. You can I also have in my car like old camp like camping stuff. So if you look at old just any type of camping wear, it's really compact and it seals. And so that's a really good place to look as the people buying it or the companies making it are and thinking about the environment. So take a look at like camping stuff. I think Light My Fire, I want to say is the name of a brand that we use as well. That's the stuff in there. So that goes inside maybe the main container. The thing I don't like about it, as you can see, is a little bit bigger, but because it sits back here, I still don't have like a giant, it's not huge. It's just not great. And then our coffee cup. So the key with my coffee cup is it does, we, we continue to make the habit, it seals so that I can put it up here in the front. So we just put it there. When it comes to coffee cups is there's a brand called Hunu. I do not have one because we have plenty, 
but I did gift one for Christmas and I hope to hear how it goes, but Who Knew is the name of the brand. I'll link it in the description. They make coffee cups that when you're done, you can just poop, compact it, and it can literally fit in your pocket. And yes, ladies, I'm talking our little teeny tiny pockets. Um, it will still fit in our back pocket. So if you are, I'll link that if you're interested in it and it is a great idea if you're really having a hard time bringing those to go containers with you to coffee stores or things like that. There you go. So here's my to-go bag. It is ready to go. And again, sometimes I put more to-go bags in there if I know I'm gonna go shopping, go to the antique store, something like that. Um, my main pocket is maybe where I put toys and things like that for our kids if they're going somewhere or maybe a larger snack items. Their lunches, for example, will definitely go in the main pocket. Um, but overall, this is probably about the typical size of our backpack that we do if we have a larger outing. Um, what you saw before, that more compact thing, is definitely what's sitting on our hook ready to go. So, in, like as we wrap up, again, if there's something in here that you do differently, if there's a to-go thing that you ha like, have to have. I would love to see it in the comments below. Um, if there's something that you didn't know and are interested in more, again, comments below, ask questions. I'd love to hear it. Have this ready for you so that you don't have to think that you take the thinking out of it, especially when you're trying to leave. It's just ready. You can grab it and you can be on your way. And yep, follow, like, subscribe. And we do have an, I do have an Instagram where I just post pictures of just kind of things so that you can see just what it looks like as a sustainable in sustainable living. So thanks. I hope that you found something and I hope you have a good day.